Hi guys, welcome to BoxPred. Going to give my brief thoughts here on the heavyweight fight that's happening this weekend. It sees Thomas Adamek going up against Eddie Chambers for the vacant IBF North American heavyweight title. And I'm picking Thomas Adamek to win this fight by a decision. One thing to take into consideration first, as far as I'm concerned, is that this fight is taking place at the Prudential Centre in Newark. Um, now, this is a favourite hunting ground for Thomas Adamek. He has a lot of Polish support when he fights there, um, and so I'm expecting him to have a lot of backing during this fight from the crowd. When this fight was first announced, when I first found out it was happening, um, my first impressions were that Eddie Chambers is going to give Adamek a lot of trouble with his, with his quick hands. But then I looked into the fight a bit more closely. I realised that Eddie Chambers... Uh, hasn't been in the ring now for a good while. He's had quite a long layoff since February February in 2011, where he faced a guy called Derek Rossi and won a unanimous decision. Uh, however, in that fight, although he did win the UD, I thought he, as the fight look, went on, um, particularly, he looked very sluggish. Um, he seemed to tire as the fight went on, and he had a uh, an obvious lack of foot movement. Now, I'm not saying Eddie Chambers is renowned for foot movement, but he really was uh, very stationary as that fight went on, particularly, and he wasn't particularly mobile to begin with. Um, he looked a bit on the heavy side um, for me, and I believe he won that fight pure down to natural ability compared to the other guy. Um, he used a lot of good upper body movement um, and reflex defense and was able to kind of counter. And I just think he was more naturally talented than, than Derek Rossi and was able to use that talent rather than athleticism to win the fight. And uh, that's what he's going to have to rely on in this fight, I, I feel. Um, he He's going to have to try and um, rely on that speed. I don't know how his speed is going to be effective with the layoff. Um but I think he's going to have to use that upper body movement. Um, you know, similar to like James Tony, not to the same degree, but if you look at James Tony now, he's just purely down to the very basic natural talent that he has. Um, he's got no real athleticism about him. Um, he's way overweight. Um, and if you see him fight, um, if you look at his last fight, for example, um, you probably see that he's relying on natural ability, reflex defense, um, you know, the bending at the hip those technical attributes that he naturally has to get him through a fight. And it doesn't uh, work against top-level opposition, in my opinion. Um, you know, at the very top level. And the, in this fight, he's going up against the top heavyweight in Thomas Adamek. Uh, moving on to Adamek. In his last fight, um, you know, pro uh, post his loss to Vitaly Klitschko, he went in against Nagy Aguilera, back in this March of this year, and he also won a unanimous decision. Um, Aguilera is not anything special, but he's not exactly a bum, um, in my eyes. He comes with some decent speed in his hands, and throws some decent jabs to the body, and he can give you a, a decent test. You know, nothing nothing too, hard, too difficult, but he can give you um, a, a test to keep you on your toes, if, if nothing else. Um, and one thing I, have, I also looked at is this, is it's, uh, you have to be very careful not to underestimate Thomas Adamek's hand speed himself. And I think he has better foot movement myself than Eddie Chambers, and I think he's going to be a bit more mobile in this fight. And I think the key to Thomas Adamek winning this fight is going to be volume, because I think he's going to be able to throw quite a lot of volume without getting too many answers from Eddie Chambers. He has to, if he comes in in good shape, um, because he's been the more active fighter, he needs to use stamina to his advantage. Maybe he can. He needs to keep the pace up in this fight. I think if he ups the pace and keeps Eddie Chambers working, he can wear down Eddie Chambers, and Chambers could could really struggle with stamina wise as the fight goes on. So I think Adam X more act. He's been more active. I think he can be more active in the ring. I think volume is key, and do not underestimate Adam X um, movement either. Um, I wouldn't say he's as naturally gifted as Eddie Chambers, in my in my eyes, in my opinion, um, in terms of defensively, with the reflex defense and uh, natural boxing ability. But I think Adam Eck is going to be the guy coming in in better shape, and I think he's going to be you know, the more active fighter currently, and I think he's going to be more 
uh, ring ready, if you like. So I'm going to pick Thomas Adamek to win this by decision. It may be a close fight. In fact, I thought this was going to be quite a close fight because I think it's going to be a, a basically a guy who's in shape against a guy who's maybe got a bit more natural ability. But Adamek's got enough ability himself to override those factors. And I think that Adamek's going to get a decision. So thanks for listening, guys. Please let me know what you, got, you think. Um, look forward to this fight. This is Boxpred and I'm out.